Section 5, Double A Championship Game. Maple Grove, Blaine making it there as the two and one seeds respectively, and Blaine establishing dominance early. They sent it to the front of the net, stuck in by Ramsey Parent off the feed from Paige Beebe. That was just two minutes and 22 seconds in, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. A couple of minutes later, Blaine putting it to the front of the net, Paige Beebe there to clean up. Parent and Kenzie Wiley on the assist. And in the first four minutes, Blaine jumps out to a two to nothing lead. They chase the starting goaltender out. That was it, four minutes and she's done. Coco Francis came in to replace, played well the rest of the way. However, goals were hard to come by for the Maple Grove Crimson. They didn't get any in the second, but Blaine got back on the board in the second. Abby Jones, right place, right time after the feed from Deanna. Lemire. I thought it was Lemire. I thought it was Lemire. House of Pepper Incorporated. It's neither of those. It's Lemire. So, Abby Jones. Abby, didn't Abby, touch Abby. it with her stick, and she scores anyway. No scoring in the third. No need for any scoring in the third. Maple Grove, they did their best, and there were some fun moments, but Jayla O'Brien flashing the leather there and holding Maple Grove off the board. So the celebration and a shutout victory. Blaine, your champions in section five, going back to state after missing out last year. Watch your face, watch your face, don't get cut by escape. They all came out healthy, wealthy and wise, probably. And they're going to the state tournament once again. You're a Section 5 AA champion. Well, he classified as a game between two big dogs, and he just wanted us to come out hard because we knew it was going to be a tough game. We played him early in the season, tied 1-1. We just wanted to get back to the state tournament like we were two years ago. So we all knew it was a big game. We wanted to come to play. All righty. Thanks, Ramsey. Jayla, you had yet another shutout. How does this one feel? Um, well, this is definitely the best shutout I've had yet, obviously. I mean, state now, yeah. But um, I don't know. It's just I don't really pay attention to my shots during the game, and I just try to stay focused on like what the fuck at one time. So. And Abby, what do you think Coach will want to take from this one tonight? What? <laughs> what do you think Coach will want to take from this one tonight? Um, that our teamwork was good, our passing was good. Like we worked together as a team, and we got the job done. Alrighty, Paige, you guys are out to the state tournament. What are you guys thinking going forward? Um, definitely take it one game at a time. Um, win every shift. Play hard. Get pucks to net and then obviously crash the net and try to get it in. Alrighty, thanks ladies. Good job tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Up next season, but tonight all about the Blaine Bengals. Anyway, and there's your section bracket. 3 nothing that final. So mm -hmm. uh, Bengals, who missed last year but went to state two seasons ago, are going back again as a representative from Section 5 in AA. Yeah, and you can watch that highlight and all the other highlights we have on our YouTube channel. Visit North Metro TV's YouTube channel to catch that and all our coach and captains. Here it is, the state tournament. Bengals are there. They draw the number two seed behind Edina. They'll be taking on the Roseau Rams in the first game on the first day, on Thursday at the X. Eastview Lightning taking on number three, Hillary Pioneers. Farmington Tigers taking on those the Dino Hornets and then the Forest Lake Rangers taking on the Eden Prairie Eagles. Defending champion Eagles. Oh, 